a problem based on permutation and combination very important problem these kind of problems are seen in every exam there are 10 points in a plane four of which are collinear how many different triangles can be formed we have 10 points in a plane my friends plane like this out of which four are collinear collinear means they are on the same line so you got two random points my friends joining them you can definitely draw a straight line so no matter how the two points are joining them you can definitely draw a line so two points are always on the same straight line my friends you can draw a straight line joining them there is no problem with that however if third point is also on the same line then we call these three points as collinear my friends so to talk about collinearity you need at least three points see this point can be here or can be here my friends okay on the same line if it is here we don't call them as collinear if it is here on the same line then yes we call them as collinear i hope this is clear so to talk about collinearity you need at least three points my friends okay three more than three see the word collinear linear means straight line okay linear path straight line path collinear all of them are on the same straight line here four points are on the same line my friends okay same straight line so we are done with collinearity now to draw a triangle you need three points my friends actually not only three points my friends there is one more rule which has to be satisfied that is sum of lengths of two sides is greater than length of third side my friends then only you will be able to draw the triangle however we are not talking about lengths of sides in this problem so by default you can take yes this rule is satisfied no need to dig deeper i just wanted you to know this because mathematically you know just having three points you cannot draw a triangle my friends okay you need to follow this rule also however in permutation combination we no need to pay attention to this rule otherwise the problem will be very complicated by default this rule is satisfied okay whenever a problem of this type is asked now we have 10 points in a plane to draw a triangle you need three points how many ways you can select them 10 c3 here it is selection my friends combination c3 points which way you select them it doesn't matter okay 1 2 3 or a 3 2 1 or a 2 3 1 in any case you will be forming only one triangle using these three points right so it's not about arrangement it's not about permutation it's about combination selection my friends okay that's why 10 c3 actually these many triangles has to be formed but four points of which are collinear they are on the same line points which are on the same line they can never form a triangle my friends okay points should not be on the same line no three points should not be on the same line then only they will be able to form a triangle so these four points can never form a triangle so you got four points how many triangles can be formed using these four points if they are not collinear okay 4c3 so we have to subtract these many triangles out of total triangles so that we'll be having actual number of triangles my friends okay see triangles formed by these four points if they are not collinear are already included in this however they are collinear they are not forming any triangle that's why number of triangles formed by them that is 4c3 we are subtracting it clear right now 10c3 10 into 9 into 8 3 into 2 into 1 3 ones are 3 threes are 2 ones are 2 fives are so 5 threes are 15 15 eights are that is a 120 minus 4c3 that is 4c3 is equal to 4c1 my friends okay 4 by 1 so this is a 4 this is 116 so our answer is c now let's say the question is number of different straight lines can be formed to draw a straight line you need two points again this problem is based on combination straight line drawn from this point to this point is same as straight line drawn from this point to this point right so it's not a permutation problem it's not an arrangement problem my friends okay it's a combination problem selection is important here so out of 10 points how many ways we can choose two points 10 c2 now out of these 10 points four points are collinear 
so select two points out of these four points 4c2 these many straight lines you have to subtract however joining all these four points you have a one straight line my friends okay one straight line so you have to add that see you have four points right this straight line is same as this straight line this straight line is same as this straight line we are not talking about line segments here my friends we are talking about straight lines line segments are different whereas straight line you can extend them infinitely so essentially there is only one straight line joining all these four points however if they are not non collinear you will be having 4c2 straight lines my friends okay that's why we are subtracting 4c2 these 4c2 lines already included in this my friends that's why we are subtracting however joining all these four points we are getting one straight line right so we are adding it here i hope this is clear so 10c2 is 45 4c2 is 6 plus 1 this is a 40 so we can have 40 different straight lines using these 10 points my friends very easy problem just find out number of triangles or number of straight lines considering all of them are non-collinear thereafter subtract number of triangles or number of straight lines formed out of those collinear points okay when it comes to straight lines you have to add plus one because there will be one straight line joining all those collinear points my friends clear right